Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your contributions, which provide me to be able to buy more materials to provide you with fa fascinating scientific experiments and demonstrations. Today's demonstration is through the stereo microscope. This is a stereo microscope. This is my wolf stereo microscope. I have others. The stereo microscope produces less magnification than a biological or petrographic microscope. It provides depth perception by means of adjusting the height. It can be used to look at not microscope slides of specimens, but rocks and minerals. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's get to the demonstration. The first mineral we're going to be looking at is sulfur. This is euhedral sulfur. Euhedral means perfect crystal form. It's orthorhombic in crystal structure. Let me focus it under the stereo microscope for you to observe the crystals. Sulfur is used in chemicals and chemical production such as sulfuric acid. It's also used for fertilizers, to make fungicides, to make pesticides. It's used in pharmaceuticals and in batteries. There's sulfur in your car battery in the form of sulfuric acid which is diluted with water to provide it with a better ability to be a good electrolyte conductor of electricity this is our next specimen it's oaknite oaknite is a zeolite is a hydrated aluminum and silicon compound found in igneous rocks. Let me adjust it so you can see the crystal formation. It's hard to see, but that is oak night. Zeolite uses are for organic synthesis reactions, water ion exchanges and softeners as catalysts, as nuclear waste repositing and are used in LED manufacturing, light emitting diodes and electronics 
They're used in cat fertilizer. I mean cat litter. They're used as a soil treatment. And they're also used in filters for fish aquariums. You're familiar with using filters for your fish aquarium. Zeolites are used for that purpose. They're water absorbing. Here's our next mineral. Euhedral quartz. Clear quartz. Quartz is a silicate and has hexagonal crystals. Let me focus it for you. Uses of quartz are particularly in jewelry as tiger eye, amethyst, citrine. They're used for piezoelectric transducers in electronics. A piezoelectric transducer produces electrical energy, electrical sparks, when pressurized. And they're also used in tools because of their hardness. They have a Mohs hardness of 7. I encourage you to study the Mohs hardness scale and leave in the comments for me what that all means. This is Kalkanite. I prospected this from Poland. Calcanite is prominent in Poland. Let's look at it under the stereoscope and let me focus it for you. Uses for calcanthite are as a copper ore, but it's not very useful as a copper ore supply of copper. It's mostly used by collectors, people that like to collect beautiful minerals for their collections. It's a beautiful mineral. When dissolved in water, it's toxic. You can fill your bathtub with calcanthite. Turn on the hot water, let it dissolve, get in your bathtub, and you will die. That is calcanthite. My next specimen is fluorite. It is a halide, similar to salt. Table salt is another type of halide. Sodium chloride. This is fluorite. It has isometric, cubic, and octahedral crystals. It's either isometric, cubic, or it can be octahedral. Both crystal forms are common. It has vitreous luster. Let's look at it under the stereoscope. That is a calcin, that is a fluorite crystal. Cubic. 
isometric cubic. Notice its vitreous luster. Fluorite on matrix of granite. Most minerals that people find in the field are on a matrix, usually granite, which is one of the most common minerals or common rocks, I should say, from volcanic activity. Granite is a igneous rock that forms underground and becomes exposed to the Earth's surface through wear. The weather erodes the top layers of soil away exposing granite as you can see in Yosemite Park in the United States of America. Most minerals are on matrices. That calcanthite was on a matrix of granite but it was surrounded by the calcanthite minerals crystals so you couldn't see the uh, matrix. Minerals are beautiful and many. There is over 200 types of different types of minerals on Earth. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to keep looking down.